All right, <clears throat> welcome to the midweek video. I don't know where everybody else is at with this whole COVID thing, but I am absolutely thankful that we are gonna go back to being open. I am sick and tired of not being able to go inside and sit down at a restaurant, being able to conversate with people. I am like dying for human interaction. Yeah. My, I got my laptop right here. I've got my TV over here. <laughs> I got myself all hooked up. I've got a, uh, a, a PlayStation 2 down over back there. I, I haven't actually, it, it's all hooked up, but I haven't actually played it. Got my two phones. Oh man, I'm just trying to fill my life up with shit to do out here on the road. Um, the way things are going right now with the way my days off are going to be, I sh I'm either going to be home tomorrow night because it's Wednesday night. I'm either going to be home tomorrow, Thursday night, or could be Friday. It really depends on what the hell they've got going on. If they can give me more miles and I can get another loadout, then you're damn right. I'm going to get me another loadout. And that's just how that's going to happen because we need the money. Everybody needs money right now. So I'll do that. And, uh, and then uh, this weekend, what's going on for this weekend is we're going to get the lower control arms put back on the truck. Uh, later on, I really need to take that stuff back off there, clean up the axle. But right now, I want to get the bags on it. I want to be able to get it up in the air and see how everything works. Make sure that it's all fit and finished right now. Um, aside from that, I need to uh, start working on getting the brakes put back together and get them back on there. I'm gonna, uh, I think I need to pick up some brake cleaner and clean them up real good before I get them back on there. That way I don't have any excess uh, spillage and whatnot. I need to buy uh, two of those uh, brake cylinder, brake slave cylinders uh, for, for the rear. Uh, I can get them on Rock Auto, I can get them on eBay, I can get them at the local store. So that's not gonna be a problem. I'm gonna pick up at least those because they're leaking. Uh, the ones that I have are very leaky. So I'm gonna try to find those in stock at a, a, at a, a parts store this weekend. I'll probably make some phone calls before I get home. That way I can just go ahead and pick them up. Uh, we have the money to pay for the taxes on uh, on the Toyota 86, so we're gonna go ahead and hopefully if I make it home in time on Friday, I wanna go up to Little Rock and go ahead and get that registered and the taxes paid for. Uh, aside from that, get Little Goth, get uh, her license plate, and uh, finally get her registered as well. <clears throat> so that'll be done. Um, after that, get back to the house and get like I said, the lower control arms on. Once I get those done and get the brakes put back together, uh, that means that the rear end is basically done. A bag's bolted on and then uh, an airline ran between them just so that we can go ahead and start working on that. Um, really all I gotta do is, is take that air manifold that I've already built and put it over there in place and go ahead and bring the hoses and kind of wire them up to that. Then I can put shop air to them and then all I gotta do is take a battery and open and close valves to be able to uh, to air everything up. So, uh, after that, I need to get to the front end and start working on what little bit needs to get done on the front end and get that done. With that being done, then I could actually get around to uh, airing it up and be able to move it. I really wanna get it moved out of the driveway and get the the, uh, the the driveway hosed off or pressure washed. It's absolutely killing me that the driveway is as dirty as it is underneath it. Um, I've got a friend, uh, friend, fan, uh, follower, whatever you wanna call yourselves, uh, that is offering to build me a, uh, a transmission cross member. I had somebody else reach out to me that wants to give me one that they already have. I, I really like to let, uh, man, I can't remember your name right now. I have it written down somewhere. I'll try to figure it out. I know I've got it here on, uh, on the computer, uh, somewhere. Uh, I want him because he's really thankful for everything that I've done on videos over the years. He's been watching ever since the beginning. 
and uh, that really means a lot to me. I'm almost there. I gotta click on. Why isn't that? There it goes. Now, now the link is loaded. Gotta let that load. Yeah, hotspot stuff is just not doing good. Okay, let's open that. Whoops. Uh, there it is, Matt Carroll. Matt Carroll has offered to build me a transmission cross member for the truck. Uh, so I'm really thankful that he's reached out to me and wants to build that for me. Uh, I'm really thankful for everything that everybody has done. Uh, like I said, I'm not getting rid of the Mazda. It has, it, 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 literally, the cl closer I got to getting rid of the Mazda, the more it just hit me that I can't. I can't. I've got so much invested into it, even though it's not even drivable. And you guys have had so much invested into that. I've had so many parts sent to me by you guys that were for the Mazda. So I can't let it go. Uh, eventually I'll build it. I'd like to be able to do some type of build with either that truck or, or whatever next where it's, I take all of my skills and actually take my time and go crazy on it. I know I'm taking my time on, on this Toyota, but I just want to go even more next level with my next build. And that will come in time. I need to get the Toyota done. Um, we talked about my wife uh, having a full hysterectomy. Uh, she goes in for operation on June 8th. So if you could think positively and prayers and all that, I, I thank you very much. Uh, I know it's a simple procedure, but anything can go wrong. I mean, there's so many things that could go wrong with with any uh, any operation. So uh, for that week, I'm gonna actually take another vacation just to be able to take care of my wife because she's technically not supposed to walk up and down stairs. She's not supposed to lift anything. She's not supposed to do housework. She's not supposed to make me sandwiches. <laughs> she's not supposed to do anything. So I'm gonna stay home for a week and I'm gonna take care of my wife. But in the, in the middle of taking care of my wife, I can also work on the truck. Uh, by that time, we should have all the parts for the Toyota 86. We should, we might even have, I've got it worked into the budget to be able to buy the rims and the tires for the 86 so that we can get those onto uh, the 86 before uh, the beginning of June. Fingers crossed. We'll see how that goes. We'll see how that goes. I really want to get the rims on there because when I get the rims on there, then I can adjust the suspension to exactly where it's going to drop down. And that's what I'm planning on. So I personally, I love building a, any vehicle, any truck, car, whatever. I like building it around the rims. I, I see a vision, I get the rims and then I build everything. And the reason that's important to me is because when you're bringing a vehicle all the way down and you have all these clearance issues, having a stock wheel, stock tire, it's not the same as the wheel you're going to put on it. The wheel you put on it is going to have its own specific amount of drop and clearance and everything that's going to be needed for it to fit right. So if you build the suspension and put everything together, then you go and get rims, you run into problems with having to recut stuff or possibly having to r remove stuff and move it up higher or down lower or over to the sides to make everything fit around those rims. So a lot of your shops, they'll do mock wheels, which they'll make wheels out of plywood where they've got the right offset and they've got the bolt pattern and they've got it, you know, the width in plywood wheels that are all put together and they mount that onto the vehicle. That way they can check for clearance issues. And it really, you know, that way they can plan for the wheels that they're going to get. <clears throat> so that's what I want to do. Uh, hopefully, uh, yeah, that'd be crazy if we could get that done, the truck uh, up and running within the next month. That would be pretty freaking crazy considering all of the shows and everything have been pushed back beyond that. Well, actually, all, all the shows that we had planned on going to. And if I look at the calendar, let me go to the calendar real quick. I've got 
if it'll load. <laughs> All right, so um, we're on uh, this month, so we go to May. May, we have nothing going on except being able to work on the truck. There was no uh, shows that we had planned. Uh, the first show that we actually had planned was not even in June. Okay, uh, I think uh, whatever was in June got moved back. So then we go to July. July, of course, is Independence Day. Uh, let's see, July is Camp and Drag uh, from the 17th, 18th, and 19th. And then at the end of the month is Slamboree. Uh, the 31st, uh, some guy was backing up and like stopped before he hit my truck. That's kind of scared me. Uh, 31st of July and then 1st and 2nd of August. So 31st, 1st, 2nd of August is Slamboree. That's one that we did plan on going to. I don't know how that's going to work out. The following weekend is Relaxing in the Park. It's been moved to the new date. Uh, Relaxing in the Park is going to be August 7th, 8th, and 9th. We we're registered for that show. I've already registered for the show. Uh, the problem is, is Gina doesn't have those days off. So I may end up just running up there for that show. I'm not sure. The rest of the year, what do we got going on in September? September is Show Me Shake Up. I'm not sure if we're going to be going to that. That's the 11th, 12th, and 13th. Then we've got uh, there's a uh, shakedown happens on 25th, 6th, and 7th of September. That one we're not going to be able to go to. We're not going to be able to make that one because Sparks in the Ozarks is exactly the next weekend on October 2nd, 3rd, and 4th. Uh, and we don't miss Sparks, which Sparks could be up in the air as well because my wife doesn't have that weekend off. She has requested it, but because of everything that's going on with COVID and everything like that, we're not sure if they're gonna deny her those days off, even though they've already been requested months ago. Um, and then two weeks, three weeks after that is the new Mini Trek National. That one, we are not sure about. That would be, that, that, that's pretty much our, our most expensive show that we would have to go to, that we would have, that we would like to go to. Yes, we are registered for it. We're really just going to have to see how it, everything goes to be able to make it to Mini Trek Nationals. Because after Mini Trek Nationals, October, November, at the end of December, at, at the end of November, 1st of December is Turkey Drag. We enjoyed Turkey Drag so much that we're already registered for Turkey Drag, so we want to be able to go to that as well. Well, that's the problem with uh, Mini Trek Nationals being a month before that and only a couple of weeks after uh, Sparks in the Ozarks. That really puts a damper on what kind of money we're going to have to be able to do that because at that point in time, we're also trying to save money up for Thanksgiving, for Black Friday, uh, and then, of course, you know, Christmas, my birthday. Uh, so, yeah, that's, we'll have to just kind of play it by ear when we get to the end of the year as to how much money we have and what we're going to be able to pull off. Some of these shows, we're going to be possibly, like, leaving out on a Saturday morning, going all the way up, registering for the show, getting judged, hanging out for that night and then leaving the very next morning to come back home because most of these shows, Sparks in the Ozarks, Turkey Drag, uh, Relaxing in the Park, all of these shows are within about five hours of the house. So if we can do them like that, except for Sparks, <laughs> Sparks, we don't want to fuck that one up. We'll leave Friday morning and come back Sunday evening. We've always, we've actually done it longer than that. Usually we leave out like on a Wednesday and stay the night in a hotel Thursday night or Wednesday night, but that's not gonna happen. We're gonna have to conserve our cash and plan out our trips even that much more and might even have to plan out which vehicle we take at that point in time. I know a lot of you are wanting to see the Toyota and that's gonna be the number one that we try to take to all these shows so that you guys can see the Toyota truck at all these shows. Um, yeah, uh, if you haven't written down these show dates, 
Uh, I'm sorry if I talked a little bit too fast. You can actually rewind it and listen to the show dates as to when they are. Uh, also, uh, Chubb's uh, show out in Vegas, that one is on November 7th as well. There's there, there's no way we that we'll be able to make that one. That's just... Uh, we we were gonna try to plan it out for this year, you know, try to save up some money to be able to fly out and 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 enjoy that. But with all the shows being within about three months of each other, there's just no way that we can do it. It's just not gonna be able to happen. So this year has really kind of fucked everybody, and we're all gonna try to get through this. But that's the plan for now, all the way to the end of the year, except for exactly what's gonna be happening this this weekend. And I've already checked, there's only a 10% chance of rain, so rain can go fuck itself. <laughs> I shouldn't have said that. <laughs> so, all right. I will talk to you guys on the next video. I love you guys. Freaks. Peace. Mini truck on. I don't know how to make that sound or that. <laughs> Everybody. And uh, subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Thumbs up for uh, getting out here and just trying to be positive. And uh, leave a comment at the bottom. What shows are you guys going to? Um, what shows might we see you at if you guys can make it to the shows? If you don't have a vehicle, there's no reason for you to not to go to a show. You can still go to a show without a vehicle. I've, I did it for several years. You know, there's nothing wrong with that. Show up, have a good time, party with everybody. You know, be a part of it. It'll make you feel better. So that's it. We'll see you guys in the next video.